Imagine this. You're stuck in traffic, inching along at a snail's pace, when suddenly your motorcycle decides, I've got this, and balances itself, hands free, feet off the ground, no tipping over. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, Honda's riding assist technology is turning that dream into reality, and it's closer than you think. Today, we're diving deep into this game-changing innovation, how it works, why it matters, and what it means for riders like you in 2025 and beyond. Buckle up, or should I say, lean in, because this is one ride you won't want to miss. Welcome back to my channel Fact Frenzy, where we unpack the coolest tech shaping our world. Honda's riding assist technology isn't just a gimmick, it's a revolution born from decades of robotics expertise. First unveiled at CES 2017, this self-balancing system has evolved into something truly mind-blowing by April 2025. So, let's break it down. What is it, how does it work, and why should you care? Let's roll. Honda didn't just wake up one day and decide to make a motorcycle that balances itself. This tech has roots in their robotics division, think Asimo, the humanoid robot that wowed the world in the early 2000s, and the Unicub, a self-balancing personal mobility scooter. Back in 2017, Honda took that know-how and slapped it onto two wheels, debuting the riding assist concept at CES. The crowd went wild as a bike crept along at walking speed, riderless, without tipping over. But here's the kicker, unlike competitors using heavy gyroscopes, Honda went a different route, and that's where the magic happens. So, how does this thing stay upright? It's not witchcraft, it's engineering genius. Most self-balancing bikes rely on gyroscopes, big, spinning weights that keep things stable but add bulk and mess with the ride feel. Honda said, nah, we've got a better idea. They used a lightweight system inspired by their Unicub. Here's the breakdown. At speeds below 3 miles per hour, think stop and go traffic or pulling out of your garage, the bike's computer takes over. It adjusts the front fork angle and tweaks the steering thousands of times per second to counter any lean. No heavy gyroscopes, no compromise on that pure motorcycle vibe. And get this, it can even follow you like a loyal pup when you hop off perfect for parking without breaking a sweat. By 2021, Honda upped the game with Riding Assist 2.0, testing it on the chunky NM4 Voltus. This version added an independent swingarm system, still a bit mysterious, but it's clearly next-level stabilization. Fast forward to 2025, and whispers from Honda's lab suggest they're blending this with radar and camera-based rider assistance. Imagine a bike that not only balances but warns you of obstacles or adjusts traction on sketchy roads. This isn't just about convenience, it's about safety and freedom. Okay, so it's cool, but why does it matter? Picture this, you're a newbie rider, still wobbly at slow speeds, or maybe you're an older rider who loves the open road but dreads tipping over at a stoplight. Riding assist is your wingman. Honda's data shows low-speed falls account for a huge chunk of beginner accidents, up to 30% in some studies. This tech could slash that number, making motorcycling more accessible than ever. Plus, with cities getting crazier and traffic worse, who wouldn't want a bike that handles the slow stuff so you can focus on the fun? Oh, and did I mention the riding assist E? It's electric, aligning with Honda's 2030 carbon-free vision. Sustainable, safe, and stylish, triple threat. Now, here's where it gets juicy. As of April 2025, Honda's still tight-lipped on when this hits showrooms, but patents filed in 2022 hint at lane keeping assist an adaptive cruise control for bikes. Combine that with their latest, ARAs, advanced riding assistance systems, using cameras and radar, and we're talking semi-autonomous motorcycles. Not fully self-riding yet, but a nudge in the right direction when you need it. Honda's aiming to cut motorcycle deaths in half by 2030 and hit zero by 2050. This tech? It's a cornerstone of that mission. So, will we see it on a Goldwing or a Rebel soon? My money's on yes. And I'd bet it's worth the wait. Honda's riding assist technology isn't just a fancy trick. It's a glimpse into a future where anyone can ride, anywhere, anytime, with confidence. From robotics to radar, Honda's rewriting the rules of two-wheeled freedom. So, what do you think? Would you trust a self-balancing bike? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. If you loved this deep dive, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next big reveal.
Want more cutting edge moto tech? Until next time, keep riding, or let your bike do it for you. See you on the road.